Good evening, I'm Giuseppe Basile, I'm the analyst and trading mentor you can find at the website www.fibstalker.com. I also post regularly on Twitter using the Fibstalker nickname. Uh, good evening, today is um, April the 7, 2014, it's 10 p.m. Time in Toronto and in this video I'm going to review for you uh, the um, all the 11 markets I follow. So. It's going to be a very packed video, so I'm going to start right away. And what you see on the screen is the daily chart of the Euro Dollar Forex. And uh, those who follow me know that I've uh, been looking at this area of support starting at 137.20 with a stop below 136.62. And actually, the market did not get, uh, did not uh, pierce the 61 level that would actually confirm the continued move lower and i've been looking at this uh, measure move here as you can see price went to the second target and uh, this weekend i've been uh, looking at the next trace from um, the previous uh, the recent highs here to lows and this is for me the uh, an important level to watch as you can see price stopped today here and uh, the open they are bouncing off this level of resistance 137.46 on the 15 minutes we have a sequence of measure move higher and i'll show you the last two, two uh, measure move of the sequence uh, it's a traditional measure move from lows to highs which went to the first target and did not get to the second target so i'm looking at the next um, measure move on the 15 minutes here and i will uh, trust uh, this uh, level of uh, resistance only if we if we move below 137.30 uh, and this could be a potential entry with a stop above um, this uh, red line 137.59 or the recent highs um, moving to the sp500 um, we had another uh, huge move lower here uh, today as we can see here so we broke this all the way halfway back from recent lows to highs and to me this is an indication that we could uh, actually now get into this uh, 1808 um, this is a slightly higher from the previous level because we, we printed the higher high um, in my experience the euro dollar can actually um, retrace quite a bit so I always Look at all the way halfway back here, 1863 could be a level where we could see a uh, price uh, reversing here and a continuation lower into 1808. Moving to the dollar index, uh, I, I, reminded, I reminded you in the, in the weekend that uh, this um, level we saw selling here, 8077, was indeed a level of... Um, of um, uh, first target that uh, program trading and algorithm trading are looking at at least the way I model them and uh, as we can see here um, uh, the support we got at the 80 level at the first target right at this 80.77 so we are seeing a uh, um, profit taking here at least the way I interpret it and uh, we are going to uh, we need to check whether price uh, long are going to pick up uh, price um, right at this area of support starting at 8037 if we move below uh, 8023 uh, there is a possibility here for the formation of a of a um, wedge uh, or um, sideways action here uh, and but we could actually see a continuation higher uh, finally, gold, uh, gold, uh, as you know, uh, um, failed the 61% level uh, of that level that I'm now following since uh, we printed this uh, low here and after price moved um, well below the second target of, of the previous measure move here. So I will um, show again this, um, this uh, area of resistance here, as you can see. On Friday we we broke the 1304 and the market is now just correcting um, before a potential trust higher so where I see this market is really into uh, a test um, into now the old way halfway back and we will need to see whether price will actually um, how price will behave uh, once we get if we get this 1333 level here 
Um, moving to the um, US dollar versus Japanese yen here, um, you will remember that uh, we had we had this level of uh, support 101.53, which actually support once, two, three, and four time, and recently we had this uh, busted setup uh, long from lows, uh, recent lows to highs, which actually was busted as you can see here, meaning that price broke uh, the, the 101.76 level but eventually price was brought into first and second target here and um, after that the next measure move did not work the next extension long did not work and the price is now correcting lower into um, uh, as we can see here this 103.22 was broken on the on the uh, downside and uh, market is actually correcting to the all the way uh, halfway back uh, which is very common it's the um, uh, the ambush trade here and we will need to see how price will behave at this level we didn't touch the level just yet so it's possible that we get a test maybe tomorrow during this week of this 102.68 and if we stay above 102.30 one here there is a possibility of a continuation higher into the 104.81 moving to the euro versus japanese yen it's a similar uh, story here uh, all the japanese major correct uh, all all all, um, uh, all the all at the same time and um, um, actually uh, using more or less the same price structure and here we have on the other side we had the 141.31 break so there are two possibilities now whether the with the price will move lower or the price is gonna is gonna shape out um um, um uh, lateral move uh, here especially if we go above 142.55 because that would be a violation of shorts followed by a violation of long sorry for a violation of shorts and that would uh, would uh, decrease actually a lateral move uh, forming in this market. We into the pound versus Japanese yen, same situation. Um, when we when we look at the daily da data here, we can see that uh, this market too is trying to correct into the all the way halfway back, and this would be actually from um, from this. Um, uh, low here to highs and again like uh, for the euro versus japanese yen we still uh, didn't get uh, into this uh, 170.45 level of support once we get there we will need to um, verify whether the price is going to bounce and continue higher into previous size here that's where the previous that was uh, that's where the first target of this uh, support measure move here is located um, otherwise I mean this market is going to retest this 168.74 uh, um, again or just form um, a, um, a lateral move here on top of um, on top of this uh, area of support moving to the pound versus the US dollar this market uh, um, actually um, traded the old way halfway back from highs to lows here in the last few days uh, as anticipated and um, however there was a bounce from uh, from this uh, area of support from uh, lows to highs and we already have to be on the lookout for these levels here and um, at the same time this price looks mm, still within this uh, area of uh, resistance and uh, uh, likewise the euro is responding to the opposite measure move where uh, where shorts are located and this is the um, the trace from uh, from highs to lows here so there is a possibility for this market to just continue lower from these levels if we move above 166.33 there is the possibility for a retest of the 166.47 and then again i would wait for the violation of the sequence of measure more than 15 minutes before getting involved uh, short here but um, 
clearly this area of support is a little bit dirty here. I mean, it's not something that uh, we cleanly traded. So I still believe that uh, the possibility uh, for the downside um, is uh, bigger than the uh, probability for the upside. But the market, we will see what the market gives us. Uh, moving to the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, you will remember that um, I've been looking at, um, at a measure move, which was um, a busted measure move, but um, which was able to, um, at some point, to start trading uh, when we saw price reacting in this 0911 and price went into the first and second target. At that point, it was possible to trace the next. Uh, uh, measure move in the sequence and that was from highs to highs we got participation twice here and eventually the market continue higher so um, at the moment uh, uh, we still have this area of support on 92.13 if uh, 091.93 fails on the downside uh, we are going to see a larger correction maybe before we get that we are going to to see a bounce, a tradable bounce, uh, which would be which would be a potential short here, um, and uh, with the possibility for this market to correct all the way into this 089.82. Uh, moving to the U.S. dollar versus the Canadian dollar, you know that this market is moving um, laterally on top of support. The, the support was identified a few weeks back, 109. 15 and uh, recently only after the fact not before i could identify this level but now now that we have identified it i mean this could be very useful for um, for trading and price is just hovering around this 109 64 level first level of support if we consider this trace and um, we could actually move into the second uh, um, target here which is the 109.05 uh, um, which is very close to this 109.15 which is the previous area of support here so that's where there is the possibility to see this market and uh, finally I want to close with the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar uh, this market um, has been uh, trading uh, on the upside it's still in a sequence of uh, measure move want to show you the last two measure moves from this anchor to highs we saw participation at this uh, 085.15 which put price right into that first target and then after that uh, the market hold um, the market held sorry the uh, next measure move in the sequence from uh, um, from these highs to high so uh, not only it, it held, but uh, also we had another important development right uh, uh, at the open uh, here uh, Tuesday morning uh, and sorry Tuesday evening here and uh, we had this violation of 0.8629 level. So it means that now this area of support is here confirmed. So if it's retested, actually this area could actually support keep supporting price and or this price could form um, a lateral move here uh, before maybe a continuation higher we will see what uh, this market uh, uh, brings okay i hope this video was useful thank you very much for sticking around and um, if you want to get more information and weekly review on these markets I follow, just um, subscribe my newsletter at www.fibstalker.com and um, I'll be, be very happy to send the, um, the newsletter to you. Uh, it only takes a few seconds to register and uh, I hate uh, spam as much as you do, so don't worry about uh, providing a good uh, email because I'm going to use that only for the purpose of the communications for the newsletter. Thank you very much for your attention and have a great continuation of, uh, of this trading week.